Hi, this is Zara P. Forbes with Words to Feed Your Soul. Today I'm going to be reading something from an Australian poet um, called Henry Lawson. Traditionally, most of us know Henry Lawson as a contemporary of Benjo Patterson, sort of a bush, bush poet, you know, talking about riding the, you know, being a jackaroo and riding the trails and the all the, you know, waltzing Matilda stuff that comes out of Australia. And I've just come across this poem of Henry's that quite shocked me. Sort of, so he's known, he's spent, he was in jail and psychiatric wards, um, alcoholism, you know, really was a raw character and sort of a real Aussie Ocker bloke. Um, so this is by Henry Lawson and the poem is called Do You Think That I Do Not Know? They say that I've never written of love as a writer of songs should do. They say that I never could touch the strings with a touch that's firm and true. They say I know nothing of women and men in the fields where love's roses grow. And they say, I must write with a halting pen. Do you think that I do not know? When the love burst came, like an English spring, in days when her hair was brown, and the, skirt, the hem of her skirt was a sacred thing, and her hair was an angel's crown. The shock when another man touched her arm, where the dancers sat round in a row. The hope and despair and the false alarm. Do you think that I do not know? By the arbor lights on the western farms, you remember the question put, while you held her warm in your quivering arms and you trembled from head to foot. The electric shock from her fingertips and the murmuring answer low. The soft, shy yielding of warm red lips. Do you think that I do not know? She was buried at Brighton, where Gordon sleeps, when I was a world away, and the sad old garden its secret keeps, for nobody knows today. She left a message for me to read, where the wild, wild wide oceans flow. Do you know how the heart of a man can bleed? Do you think that I do not know? I stood by the grave where the dead girl lies when the sunlit scenes were fair and the white clouds high in the autumn skies and I answered the message there. But the haunting words of the dead to me shall go wherever I go. She lives in the marriage that might have been. Do you think that I do not know? They sneer or scoff and they pray or groan and the false friend plays his part. Do you think that the blackguard who drinks alone knows aught of a pure girl's heart? Knows aught of the first pure love of a boy with his warm young blood aglow? Knows aught of the thrill of the world old joy? Do you think that I do not know? They say that I've never written of love. They say that my heart is such that finer feelings are far above. But a writer may know too much. There are darkest depths in the brightest nights when the clustering stars hang low. There are things it would break his strong heart to write. Do you think that I do not know. That's kind of like receiving a little bit of a smack across the face. Um, you know, we see the, um, you know, I sort of picture the, um, well, the picture of Henry Lawson um, that we that you can look up. He, you know, I picture a man in his fifties, um, sun beaten. I picture him. Um, you know, with his 
cap on and and a real Aussie Aussie Ocker man and I can understand that um, there is a an expected Australian machismo um, masculinity masculine tough behavior and I can imagine to see a a drunk um, an ex-criminal um, writing of very um, sort of stockyard poems very bush poems that he's not able to write of anything delicate because of course he's just rough um, he does more for me he does much more than write of something delicate he explains why he doesn't um, he explains why and how he he remembers back to being in that garden of love you know that you're in and how when you're young and you, the electricity of touching them and then you ask them the question of marriage and then you know the heart bracingly then breaks to then I stood by the grave she was buried in Brighton you know um, something happened and he was away so he's saying I was half a world away so possibly at war uh, or on his travels I don't know that either um, and so he's saying when he was a young man Brighton I think is in the UK so I'm, I'm going to guess that he's talking about Brighton in the UK and he came over to Australia let me quick have a look um, where was he born? He, he was born in New South Wales. So we are talking about Brighton in Australia. Um, a Norwegian comes from that sort of Lawson, like L-A-W-S-E-N, L-A-R-S-E-N, comes from, that. we have a lot of that in Australia. Um, so he talks about this early experience that he's had and how um, while he was away um, she died and how he's had to come back and he lives she lives you know and in this possibility that mightn't have happened so he's not just saying I'm just an old man and I don't care he's saying I've, I'm an old man and I've had my heart broken and don't think that I don't know these things I know I, I've experienced more heartache and more pain than you can possibly imagine and um, and I love that he writes. There are things that would it, there are things it would break his strong heart to write. It just um, the hardest things. There, you know, we it's a very rare poet who writes about their pain without trying to um, make it more palatable for the general population. We're not very honest creatures. So let's read that one more time. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is definitely a big one for the magic book of words. Okay. Do you think that I do not know? By Henry Lawson. They say that I've never written of love, as a writer of songs should do. They say that I could never touch the strings with a touch that's firm and true. They say that I know nothing of women and men in the fields where love's roses grow. And they say I must write with a halting pen. Do you think that I do not know? When the love burst came like an English spring in days when her hair was brown and the hem of her skirt was a sacred thing and her hair was an angel's crown. The shock when another man touched her arm, where the dancers sat round in a row. The hope and despair and the false alarm. Do you think that I do not know? By the arbor lights on the western farms, you remember the question put. While you held her warm in your quivering arms and you trembled from head to foot. The electric shock from her fingertips and the murmuring answer low. The soft, shy yielding of warm red lips. Do you think that I do not know? She was buried at Brighton. 
where Gordon sleeps when I was a world away. And the sad old garden its secret keeps, for nobody knows today. She left a message for me to read where the wild, wide oceans flow. Do you know how the heart of a man can bleed? Do you think that I do not know? I stood by the grave where the dead girl lies, where the sunlit scenes were fair, and the white clouds high in the autumn skies, and I answered the message there. But the haunting words of the dead to me shall go wherever I go. She lives in the marriage that might have been. Do you think that I do not know? They sneer or scoff and they pray or groan and the false friend plays his part. Do you think that the blackguard who drinks alone knows aught of a pure girl's heart? Knows aught of the first pure joy of love of a boy with his warm young blood aglow? Knows aught of the thrill of the world old joy? Do you think that I do not know? They say that I never have written of love. They say that my heart is such that finer feelings are far above. But a writer may know too much. There are darkest deep depths in the brightest nights when the clustering stars hang low. There are things it would break his strong heart to write. Do you think that I do not know? This is Zara P. Forbes and this has been Words to Feed Your Soul.